Welcome back to the Handsome Jack Handsome Jack's podcast. I have with me today my wonderful co-host Austin, the straightest of straight men. It's your boy. <laughs> Jake the jailbait weeaboo. What up? Connor the dumpster fire Kelly awakening ten years furry. Uh <laughs> yeah, this is me. <laughs> and Brendan the always chaotic neutral <laughs> Viking. <laughs> and as always, I am your host, the always angry Canadian, Joel. So uh, I didn't really do a great job explaining our uh, anime book uh, book club. Basically, what we're doing is every month, um, because we'll be doing every second podcast, and podcasts come out bi-weekly, we're going to be uh, recommending and watching anime, and then coming together and talking about that. And we'll probably give it like some sort of rating, like would watch, waste of time, that sort of thing, um, which is what we're about here. Um, so the animes we had from last podcast that we are talking about are One Punch Man, Keijo, B Stars, Gungrave, and Charge Man Ken. Before Anyone? we start talking about this, I have I have a few thoughts about the word biweekly. Biweekly can mean either twice a week we or every got other past week. We haven't the intro yet. <laughs> hey, man. Hey man. I'm I'm just you saying. Get biweekly? That's how I'm looking we at gotta, it. We have to explain the, bi- the biweekly. No, no, who thinks the biweekly is twice a week? It is anyone but Jelly? Is it I just mean, that? Uh, he's got a point. Kind of. Same with same thing as bi-monthly. I don't know. Bi-monthly can mean twice a month, twice in a month, or... Every two months. All right, we're just. Well, gonna, not, we're, well, hey, I, I want to roast jelly, so let's just start with Charge Man. Hold up, hold up. We're gonna agree. rename it. We're renaming let's it. Look at that. The once every two week <laughs> anime book club. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love it. It flows right off the tongue. All right, I love you, Joel. Are we already did in Charge Man here? Dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. All right, Jake, you want to give a rundown? Yeah, I'll give us a quick rundown of some just the facts. It was made by uh, Mac Productions. Uh, very old studio was founded in 1967, but they really don't make any animate anything anymore. The last thing they did, they did some assistance on the end in, uh, end of Evangelion with Gainax, and I found it interesting because they also found some moderate su- success in the 90s and 80s making straight to video soft core porn anime. Oh hell yeah! Did you do further research on that? <laughs> I did not. I did not go down <laughs> that uh, rabbit hole any further. <laughs> So Not the specific yet, huh? creator of Charge Man Ken is A.G. Tanaka. It was directed by Nuburu Miru. And the writers are Masaki Wakuda, Tohiro Ando, and Yoshio Tomato. And I just want to say, I have no idea why they needed three writers for this show. And are you, It's riveting. How could it not know. be three writers? <laughs> and yeah, interesting the, enough, the it had a the plot. musical last year. What? Uh, well, you, know you know why? why? Because it's such, a, it's such a meme that it, is, it was such a failure. I'm gonna and kill people remember it as a massive failure. Just do it. Dude, just I mean, I would rate this as a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> I rate this as I would punch my child. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would put on a wife beater and do my job. <laughs> but there the fact that even proper sound so effects much. on half of the episodes. You don't like, need sound this, effects. Watching that sure. is like, I understand That's... how Jelly's mind works. Every episode, <laughs> I'm like, this is just Jelly's mind. And he, he, I'm always like, man, why are we so mean to him? And then I'm like, this episode is like, why? We're mean to you. <laughs> like, well, just to be clear, I don't think any of us have seen the show going in. I just saw clips of it, and I knew that it's something special. We all why did you see together. clips of this? You're an asshole. <laughs> why did you see clips of this? Because it was on a YouTube video talking about how it was the best worst anime ever, and I think that's uh, I think it's up there. Fun fun story about that. You told me about that video. I watched the first episode, and here we fucking go. That video pops up on the recommended side. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> they played Jelly like a damn fiddle. <laughs> it's set not in really because I saw that whole... part first. It's set in motion oh. the whole thing. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's garbage. It's it's you know, not sixties animation, full tier trash, doesn't have proper sound animation, literally is just villain of the or monster of the, the kid, episode. The kid's a god. The kid is literally a god. He can do Shut everything. He gets he gets superpowers Shut that are given to him all the time. He's like Ray from this new so, Star Wars. It's the best. So you're telling me he's Superman and why Superman is bad? Because he just has ex machina power? Yeah, pretty much. 
See, this is, his gun. Jelly. His gun kills everything. He can shoot. He eradicates an <laughs> entire species of butterfly in episode six or whatever. Oh, hold up! I'm Jelly. gonna do. I did. A, I did a little research in here real quick because I wanted to see. This is like a mid '60s cartoon, pretty much, right? So it actually the, came out uh, late mid '70s, right? 1974. Hold the fuck up! What? Yeah, this, 19, yeah, all the other stuff was made in the seventies. This compared. does not help. It's <laughs> does not help. It's it's no. It doesn't have. I'm gonna good. list off a couple seventies cartoons to see how fucking shite this show Short is. Short the animation. <laughs> Tom and Jerry show, Schoolhouse oh. Rock, yes. Fred Flintstone and Friends, Looney Tunes, Scooby Doo, Where anime. Are You? Popeye the Sailor was still running. Bugs Bunny show. I mean, yeah. I mean, you you said Looney Tunes right there, and that blows everything else out of the water. Yeah, but, I mean, this shit would have been in, subpar in early '60s, probably in the '50s. Dude, I think this thing would have been subpar in any form of entertainment ever, now, like, unless we were like yeah. showing it to cavemen. Me being the subjective it's, man it's that I am, I went into an analysis of the show. <laughs> um. Go on, Dialogue and dub. Since uh-huh. it doesn't have half of it and really doesn't have three quarters of that category, <laughs> it got a bad score for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, art style, I can respect. You know the old grind. Uh, it got a bad though on that too. <laughs> Story, it's episodic. Uh huh. Um, Is that all you have to say? It's episodic. No, no. Not at all, because Cowboy Bebop was episodic, and it would be, like, fantastic top tier for me. It gets a bad, though. Charge Man gets a bad for that, because it really just... I, I, it, it, I don't have to, to any of it. Though. And what is Speed Light? Characters, soundtrack, there's no real soundtrack. So, intro and outro, that's questionable, too. It's all bad. I mean, the um, first time we recommend anime is he recommends this pile of shit. Is anyone else in vote... Of the worst anime, not getting a recommendation the following week. <laughs> as funny as I'd like here, here. to be, I feel like if we all have really good picks, someone's going to get screwed out of a great recommendation. So I might have to go. Uh, uh, let's give it another two weeks. Okay. So we're going to let him redeem himself as well. I'll let you redeem yourself, Jelly. Don't he needs a web redemption. <laughs> get my, my Tosh.0 <laughs> web redemption. Huh? Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I have nothing but great things to say about the show. I love the short runtime of seven minutes per episode. Dude, that just, oh they just there's you don't need to you don't need to have Joe, filler, every episode, you don't though, have sound it? effects. I hate you don't need, to, you don't need to finish Jelly. the animation. You can reuse assets. You have the can do the same kick flip every time and shoot somebody. Use the same animation. The aliens dying. It's just it's it's wonderful. It saves a lot of time. Allows the, com- <laughs> allows the company that made it save a lot of money on animation <laughs> and. Yeah. That's, that's more money uh, than getting into. <laughs> Jelly, you're the reason why people should believe bullies when they say that guy deserved it. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Hold up. Uh, Wait a minute. This, I'm just browsing through the Wikipedia real quick. This show debuted every uh, single day from April 1st to June 28th. An episode a day minus... I'm pretty sure the weekends, but still, that's pretty intense. Those four children, it could have absolutely <laughs> defiled and it didn't last long. Like seven minutes of hell. Come on, that's not, that's not that seven bad. Minutes is a long we got, time we got to like seven minutes is longer than you last in bed. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, actually, <absolutely>, sir. <laughs> you really yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, think we should, are we done yeah, shitting we on Jelly? Away. I was, was going to say, are we done shitting on Jelly? Sorry, Jelly, but not thing. really. I think well, I don't think I've heard Jake's take on this so far. What's What's Jake got to say about Charge Man Ken? I I, I I have no critique of it because it is just a low quality children's cartoon. It'd be like trying to come up with an artistic critique of fucking that's so Raven or something. It's hard to critique something. No, 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 no shit. No. Oh god. I don't want Jelly, to hear shit. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Oh no. <laughs> uh, we need to change the subject. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm fine. Let's go on. next. Let's move on. What's the next one right, we want to talk about? Let's go, Kajo. Kajo. Oh, Ask right. boxing. 
Ass boxing is where it's at. So, got a little rundown of some information here. Based on the manga by Daichi Sorayumi, ran from July 2013 to April 2017, collected of uh, 18 total volumes. And then ended up being the anime that we all know and love in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait, quick, quick segue. Who actually finished? Is it just me and Jake that finished yeah, it? I, 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 I never finished. Oh, you know this. I ended up doing five episodes today. Okay, okay. I finished the five episodes, but I'm going to continue on because I actually really liked it so far. Okay, hold, hold up, hold up, Jake, continue. All right. So, the studio that did the animation was a uh, Zebic Studio, founded in '95. Looked up a little bit of their history, not really a whole lot of big success from them. Uh, they're known for shit like Shaman King, Space Battleship, Yamato, Zoids, Chaotic Century. So, and then through the giant ramifications and loophole of different owning shit, they eventually got sold off to Sunrise, the creators of Cowboy Bebop fame, Hey-o. and basically got, got rebranded as Sunrise Beyond, and pretty much been doing just a lot of assistance work these days. So, like, They'll do in between finishing second key animations for shit like Haiku, My Hero, Konosuba. Wait, wait, wait. Haiku? They're not the they're not the principal ones, but they'll they're just like doing assistance work on Haiku. Oh, okay, okay. So like to say, like a little I, in between. I was about to love this show just for its association with Haiku. So, but they do finally are helming another anime uh, this fall called King's Raid, based on some Korean mobile game. And then we got. The OP intro is Dream X Scramble by ARL. Outros performed by Lin, Mao, Katie Hondo, Sayori Onishi, titled Fanta's Hip Girlfriends. That's all the information I got on Keijo. So basically women ass boxing in bathing suits and it gets looter and looter as the show goes on. So Jake, I, I, Jake, I have a question for you. Are they supposed to be in high school or college? If you listen, uh, way, they actually they're think 18. the main character is 18 years old. Yeah, so either way, I heard it's okay. Minor. Not sure so it's that. not. So it's not jailbait. It's all above board. <laughs> so it's not jailbait. So Jake is getting 10 years. I have oh, no. No. Completely legal. No, no, Jake's good. <laughs> Oh, boy. I know probably curb Jelly's enthusiasm a little bit. We Dude. found that out, but <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lordy. I'm just being painted the best of lights today. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Jake, I do love that. It's like the opening thing, like big busty girl gets off the butts, boobs flop, and then she's like, "I'm 18." <laughs> I'm like, that's I'm really nice to know. Within the like, first few minutes of the show out starting. Of Glad we like, cleared that is, up. <laughs> it is clearly stated. I, I was also mad because if you actually finish the anime, they go pro. And I was like, did they just go high school to pro in like two months? What the fuck? You fucking ruined it for me, Joel. Yeah, dude. It, it's God. not, a, it's not was... a big plot point, but <laughs> I would have never guessed it with that. Trust me, there's bucket. bigger plot points. There's bigger plot points. Oh, there yeah. is. It's not really about the character. It's not about the plot itself. It's about the, the character arc developments mm-hmm. Go and on. the rivalries that they form in between, like the elite and the the low tiers. Oh yeah, sure. For sure. I mean, I mean, I can all, the fact when I watched the lead it. after the first few episodes. I didn't even realize there was a plot. I just drained myself and kept watching. <laughs> <laughs> so it only took one episode for you to drain yourself. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, oh, I guess it's and still yeah. on. I might as well watch it. I guess. I just, I just, I, I drained and then I like had a smoke and a glass of water and I passed out with. <laughs> you wiped, wiped right. off your hand. And you're like, okay, time to cook some popcorn. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, since we're all talking about it, best waifu out of the fucking ones. Uh, I'm going to go with the main girl. Main girl? Yeah. Uh, Nozumi, I think her name was. Yeah, Nozumi is one of her last names. Mm. I'm gonna have to I would probably go name. with Mia, which is the blonde hypnotic boob chick, or oh Rin. Oh, my. Pick. Good pick. Or mm. Rin. Put the, me on the fucking spot chick. with this one. I don't remember mm. a lot of the names, so I'm going to go off of uh, characteristics. I am gonna. I'm gonna double check um, a name real quick here. Oh, uh, she had big boobs. Yeah. <laughs> that one? Oh, you know how little that narrows it down. 
I mean, I've, mine was me. I think there was one girl that had a flat like chest in it, but in the next scene, I just showed a different angle of her, and they just made her boots bigger. I was going to say, like, <laughs> they call them flat, but they're not. So. But not really. Hold up. Yeah. What is the really quiet hate- one in Room 309? What's her name? Abo, right? So she's waifu because she's a fucking superhero, if you didn't realize it. <laughs> My fucker right, could just, like... I touched something and I know everything about it. There's Dude, her, part that's her hair is gyrating. Yeah, all of the girls line up for her to touch their asses to learn about themselves. Oh, yep. but the massage part wasn't. That wasn't <laughs> that part. This just just sounds like a regular day of wrestling in class. <laughs> <laughs> the hell happened in wrestling? There. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> One time in a pressing class, <laughs> like oh boy, my coach is just go. like, "All right, everybody, get in a train." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Should I walk into the wrong room? And we all like get down, <laughs> start massaging each other in like a big train. I'm like, "This is, might be the most homoerotic scene since Top Gun." <laughs> there might be a train scene later in the anime. And that's it might be a power up. There might be a train power up for one of the girls. And that's when I knew this was my shit. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I was, I was watching, I think it's rolling into episode five, and they do like a little you know, teaser of the next yeah. episode. <laughs> it was straight up like, it was like Jaws. This bitch was like gliding <laughs> on the water. Crack me the fuck up. I was in stitches. Right? <laughs> that, that is honestly the best... <laughs> Best use of like an episode teaser I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I always love it when anime have fun with that shit. Oh, dude, it's fantastic! Speaking of having fun with the concept, they really just go all out. They don't really. They, there's no subtlety there. It's oh just no! Like that's my love about this. It only gets worse. And they, and they, it only <laughs> gets worse. It's all yeah, tongue in like cheek. It. Like it knows what it is. Yes. Like even all the puns for all the moves are like, like. <laughs> What was it? Uh, hip, hip, no, hip, no tits. Yeah. <laughs> like little small things like that. Astronomy. And, and what was it? Uh, oh, was it sure you one. can? Uh, sure you yeah, tits? Sh- yeah, sure you can. It's sure you can. Oh, uh, sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was really clever. See, I, I really thought I'd seen all the show had to give me. <laughs> and then, uh, then we rolled up, up to moves. the vibe ring hip. <laughs> <laughs> show that keeps that on giving off today. <laughs> I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. And then the next scene after that, and I'm like, Mm-mm. this show really just, it has no limits. Just when you think it said shit. everything, like they will find a way to make it. <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's a, she's a, yeah, what is it? She's, she's sensitive. Abusing her weaknesses. Yeah, yeah sensitive she's sensitive. Below the southern border or something like that. <laughs> she's sensitive down below. And you see a drip. Yeah, and they show a cl- <laughs> they show a crotch shot where both where like both of their parts are vibrating against each other. It's like, mm-hmm. well, that's that's probably the lewdest shot in the show. <laughs> but we're just no, getting no, started. No, it's not. Oh, oh no, me. it's not. I'm sure. I'm sure there's did, plenty more to go. All right, so, did you get far enough to see where uh, the one girl increases her speed by giving herself a wedgie? <laughs> yep. That was that episode was, four. Yeah. Yeah. That was episode, she does that that episode again. four or five. And yeah, I'm like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, oh, dude, it gets better. She does it later on, too. She does it so hard, she rips her shit. Oh, fucking hardcore. Yeah, she's ba- and then she basically just finishes the match like we're nothing. <laughs> yeah, she judo throws someone with her nipple. <laughs> <laughs> My God. All right, so... Does anyone have like anything else? To, like I, I've got my fucking. I, I want to bring up. I'm gonna bring up the animation. Yeah. The animation is super run through, solid. Run I like the. Your list. Run through your list. We'll talk through your list. So, well, you guys could just piggyback on anything. Uh, dialogue and dub. I thought it was good. Dub was good. Dialogue was, was good. good. Solid show. And that speaking art. So, I'm gonna say mediocre. That you know, average. Mm-hmm. That's more or less because nothing significantly struck out as being. Above every other show I've ever seen, it was good though. I'm not yeah. saying it's slightly good. above average, but I also watched a lot of bullshit. So mm-hmm. I'll agree with the above <laughs> average. I think boy. I like the colors and the strong board, uh, border lines that they add for all the characters. It makes the characters really pop, I even if they look, nice. even if they look relatively, uh, I guess, me- like not mediocre, but kind of 
well, what's the word I'm looking for? Everyone, like, everyone, like the character designs could be more different, but uh, it makes the characters that are there stand out, even though it's kind of a mediocre in terms of design. Like, the there's only, there's only so many, yeah, there's only so many ways you can draw a female anime character to make it look I mean, different than the rest. You mean and like I, how Rin and was it Kenton are literally like almost the same? And yeah, like long second, black hair. Are you talking about the ones with long and black hair? No, there's two people with short blue hair that look almost fucking identical. If she doesn't have her headphones on. Oh, yes, okay. that was yeah. the one. Yeah. I, say, I, I straight up mistook two of the characters in the first episode because they looked exactly the I same. I took a double take on that for half a I'm second. I'm like, wait, she got knocked off. Why the hell is she back up? Yeah, exactly. Bam. Wrong person. But, yeah, I could definitely feel that. I feel overall it's like standard, but not, not in a bad way. It's just good, solid, crisp art and animation, but nothing that makes it stand out amongst and, uh, the crowd yeah that's yeah, why like, i, I, I put it sl- above average mm-hmm. just because it does have that good stuff but it doesn't have anything to stand out so it's not great yeah. oh yeah but like, I, like i said like it's still appealing like i still feel like it's good well done stuff and it's fun to watch mm-hmm. um story is up next once again this is only five episodes because i didn't make it all the way up but um there isn't much of one. Yeah, there, I'm going to say mediocre, but that's not bad. Like, this is all subjective. Mm. It's not a bad rating of the show. I'm just saying, for me, I if understand what the show is. You know, yeah, I was going to say I understand what it is. Like, I understand what they're trying to convey. It's more about the characters and everything yeah. than the actual, like, activity. Mm-hmm. So, I understand the story. Maybe if I would watch the whole thing, plus the OVAs. We might be looking at like a. There's a, OVAs. There's six OVAs. It's quite a lot, honestly. Which I was surprised. I didn't know that. I haven't watched those yet. I, I, I was about to ask. Where's watching, Jake? Line that up next. So Jake, I'm lining that up next. <laughs> but no, I agree that the story and characters, like, there's nothing bad about them. I mean, it's like the story is your like stereotypical sport anime. Got to start from the bottom and work my way to the top. And they got the, all the character arcs going on. And they're you know. Well done. Except for the fact, in a couple months, they go from rank amateurs to joining the pros. I mean, that is it's a little fast paced, and I'll get back to why that probably was at the end of the segment. I got a little bit more information Fuck on sakes, the Joel. manga. You want like a five year long anime? He said <laughs> that point. I, it is a little sped up, but other than that, I feel like it was a comp, uh, completely done story and character development. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much me. Anyone else got anything for story? No, not as of yet, because I'm I'm at the same point you are. Um, characters. Once again, I had to hit it with a mediocre. Not a dit. Not a diss on it because I haven't seen the full. This is a five episode deal. Haven't yeah. seen the full thing. I haven't seen the full evolution of characters. I think it will be good from a character progression. I'll give it a lewd because I haven't seen so many waifus in anime in a while. That being said, lewd out of ten. I, <laughs> just like like fan service is not my thing. I enjoy a little bit of it sprinkled in every once in a while. Oh, but full on. this is so blatantly like over the top. It's 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 really hard for me to kind of get into the show mm-hmm. because the whole damn thing is ass boxing. Yeah, ass, ass shot, ass shot, and just when, like, shot. If they would focus shot. on that, it'd be one thing. Rex but like, let's get a fucking crunch shot of this bitch. Yeah, go in there, vibe her up. <laughs> and it's like okay so like overall for me that is the biggest problem with this show is just the subject material for me if it's any other like sports show yeah. I'd be fine with it mm-hmm. but it's the subject matter that just rolls me down that's fair fair enough alright well I think we've talked quite a bit on k what do you want to do next boys you pick uh, doesn't matter to me. Let's talk. Let's um, talk B stars. I'm B-stars. feeling all right, all right. that was the one that I was the B-stars. most. All right, do do your roll on Jake. Do yep, I got bring him a B stars page here. All right, it is based on the manga by Paru Itagaki. Um, currently there is 18 volumes worth of manga out. He said he wants to kind of wrap it up and in like the 20s, so we'll see if that goes. Um, it's got a couple awards. And the manga started in 2016. The anime premiered just last fall season in 2019. And there actually was a stage play 
that was supposed to premiere in April this year, but it was obviously canceled due to COVID. Uh, the anime was done by Studio Orange, which is interesting. So it was founded in 2004 by a guy who's worked on shit like Ghost in the Shell standalone complex and did the CG work. And so they're primarily a CG studio, but they've never helmed their own anime. They've always done CG work for other things. And before this, the most they did was make a little short video for the Star Fox Zero video game. So this is their first big breakout. And to have them have a big hit like this as their first go around, I think is pretty awesome for them. And, oh, definitely. Uh, we got the director is Shinchichi Matsumi, writer Nanami Higuchi, music by Satoru Kusaki, which I think he did a wonderful job. The OP song is Wild Side by Ali. End themes are all performed by Eureka. And it's a few different songs. We got Lizu, Marble, Sleeping Instinct, and Floating Story on the Moon. Solid. So, is anyone else weirded out in the first two episodes? Oh, for sure. Like, unfortunately, uh, not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not of course. course. Of course. course. The, even me, who recommended it, was like, "Oh, this is a weird two episodes." I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't like, be shocked. Uh, so you were beating your meat to cage, show, and Shelly's just like, "Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, no, this is the first two He's episodes. like, "Is that ra- is that rabbit puss?" <laughs> 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 it's Zootopia all over again. Oh, <laughs> the no. rabbit snatch oh, like God, <laughs> dude, they don't have those movie theaters anymore, dude. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. No, honestly, going into it, um, out of this list. I kind of thought, because I, me and Jake had watched Keijo a little bit already. I kind of knew what it was about. I kind of knew this was, it was probably not going to be a, you know, a, a hit for me, you know, per se. And out of all the other ones, Beastars was the other, only other one that I didn't know that much about. I mean, minus Jelly's thing, you know. I knew nothing. Right. But I had heard the name and I heard it's good. You should watch it. I didn't really know anything else. And I was kind of a little bit apprehensive about it, especially when I watched the first episode and saw kind of the art style of it. I was getting like uh, Knights of Sidonia flashbacks with the oh boy. CGI. And I'm like, oh God, no, not again. Um. But honestly, it it grew on me a lot. I actually really enjoyed the show. It's definitely going to be one that I kind of burn through and finish here in a little bit. Uh, uh, Where's episodes? Like, what episodes do people get to? I finished it. I'm pretty sure Brendan finished finished it. it. I finished it as well. I did not finish it. Yeah, I finished it. All right, so Austin's the only one that hasn't finished it. To be fair, Uh, though, I thought the first few episodes were really weird. Yep. Three to seven got me hooked to finish it. Because seven is where I stopped my first time watching, and then I thought ten or ten, eleven, twelve were pretty mediocre compared to the rest of the show. Yeah, they uh, need yeah. to spread some of the interesting concepts more throughout the show because then they kind of introduce some stuff in the middle that is really cool, and then they kind of jump back a bit and do, like do less the world building, more like the character stuff. I think. Yeah, I know. They touch on like this. I, I want to know how this world happens that like the carnivores are like and herbivores, but the carnivores are like caged and that's how it works outside of like a school society. Like, of course, it's anime, so it's high school. So, you know, and it doesn't explore much the world outside of it. But like I had so many questions. And yes, I had questions about talking animals, Jelly. Go, go ahead. <laughs> that's all Jelly really wanted to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had questions about talking animals. You're welcome. I, you, you can have this one. Joe uh, doesn't that... mind watching Zootopia. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk. <laughs> All right, Jake. Um, well, actually, anyone who, anyone who has watched the show and, I don't know, possibly knows anything about the manga, how far up is the first season of the anime with the manga? You said there's only going to be like 20 it's like anyone's more. So, like, is there only going to possibly be another season? That's going to be it. I'm uh, not I sure. would say another season. Even if they have to like diversify from the from the manga, do you think probably they make, they'll probably make the, the second, second season, season happen? Do you think they got enough views for a second season? Though? Oh yeah, second oh, season yeah. is confirmed for next year already. Oh, yeah, they've they already confirmed confirmed it. licensed it, and 
I mean, Netflix kind of goes hog wild anymore. It, when it weirdly comes. got like a lot of attention. So Louis has a chance to come back into the story and not have the most useless fucking moment in the whole goddamn show? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your boy will return. I, I, I think you mean Ruiz. I think you mean Ruiz. Ruiz. If anyone who watches the Japanese one, the guy's name is Ruiz. No, not Ruiz. Was actually Ruiz in the uh, English dub? Because I watched yeah. the Japanese one. <laughs> yep. Ruiz. Yeah, I yep, just watched in English. It's Ruiz in, in Yeah, Japanese. I always said that. It bugged me for the longest time. It's like, why Ruiz? Like, why not just Louis or Louis? No, it's, they call him Louis in the English dub. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I need to watch the English dub next time I watch it because it's, I'm it's curious pretty, to compare it. It's solid. It's, it's a good dub. I honestly think it is. Well, I mean, I feel like a lot of the shows coming out anymore are pretty good dubs. I mean, I, I feel like you don't see the criminally bad dubs as no, much. No, you're not. You're not going to see that. Cough. Something from like the mid O's and earlier. Um, but yeah, I thought the dub was really good. I really like the voice actors for almost all the characters. Um, I also thought the dialogue was really good. It, it's it's a well written show because it's kind of it could be really know, cheesy with the concepts. I mean, the co- absolutely, I mean, it, but but they don't they don't make it sound corny or hokey. They make it seem like it's real and there are real consequences and weight to the actions that you do or the, what you are as a as a either a herbivore or carnivore. That stuff really matters. Yeah, hundred percent. Jelly's a hundred percent herbivore. Hundred percent, dude, uh-huh. for sure. Um, I'm just Are we on. getting into what animals we would be in this universe? Your sheep. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, no. He'd be an alpaca, <laughs> <laughs> like the first guy in the first episode. That's jelly. <laughs> I think I end up being a carnivore because I'm that much of an asshole. But like, what carnivore do I end up being? I don't know. Um. I I think you'd be the uh, the dude the tiger from tiger? the play. Uh, I can the, live from with the that. play. I can live with that. I can live with what was it, Bill? Yeah, Bill, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can live with. Being I was a tiger. Really I'd say that where you'd be a deer, like Louis. Hmm. A deer. Yeah. I box the shit out of some people. Yeah. Anyone deer that doesn't actually box. know what deer boxing is, look. Don't look that up. Yeah, I've looked it up. Is it like Dude, ass boxing? Ter- no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It is terrifying the way that deers fight, and there's lots of videos of deers doing it to dogs. Oh, God. It's not enjoyable to watch. I will avoid that. I'm saying Jake's a male bunny. I'll take it. <laughs> the way you talk to Aubrey. <laughs> so, so, is he, so is he like the split bunny that like he turns he turns to like the white side to talk to Aubrey and then he turns to the black side to talk to his friends? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Just I'm no, secret I'm over here like, damn, I wanted to be the panda. <laughs> the panda yeah. character is really cool. He was cool. I want. I want to know more about him and like what he does. Wait, wait. I want. What's Hudson's animal though? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, oh no. I'd say Austin's the main character. It needs to be. I, like, he's humble. I'm, he's I'm, humble, I'm, but he's got the power. You know, real talk. I see Austin being Lagushi. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> Lagushi, especially, Lagushi. especially when. <laughs> Because Demon like, probably Gucci, just walks around. Right? Like, oh my god, <laughs> shut up, James. Demon probably just walks around like, I could destroy that. <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> I'll, kill I'll kill you, but I won't. I'll kill you, but I won't. <laughs> All right. That's the type of man Dim it is. Yeah, here I am. Letting everyone live. Let me run through all your lists there. Uh, dialogue and dub we talked about. Art. At first, Love the art style. Love CG it. really messed with me at first, but once I kind of understood the universe they were going for and what they're building towards and the animation, I was okay with it. 100%. I've seen CG oh, animation before. Was. I've seen CG anime uh, before, and some of them do it really... It still looks stocky and, and, and not very fluid in motion, yeah. but this one was very fluid in motion. Like every... Every frame, it seems like they're expressing something different, which is cool. I think it's I like seeing that kind of stocky, but it was better than your average, yeah. Um, story-wise, I mean, yeah, I enjoyed it. 
It gets a good for me. I yeah, know. I was I was quite quite impressed with the story up until the last few episodes in which I don't really understand what they were going for and doesn't really seem like they had a point. Feel you there. I, I feel like they would need to build towards a season climax and that was the best one they could come up with. Yeah, and then I they don't like, have an ending as shit. I feel like you'll, it's one of those last three episodes where the first episode of the next season is going to be like, ah, okay. Kind of like yeah, Terminator 2 up. made Terminator 1 better. <laughs> Are you talking yeah, about the end of the play? Then? Are you talking yeah. about the end of the play? Yeah. Yeah. Can we can we just can we just redo that? <laughs> like, Hell no! The way that made sense. I didn't watch it, but no, we can't redo it. <laughs> uh, character wise, really good. Magoshi is really like a really good main character in my opinion. He annoyed the piss out of me for the first three episodes. That just makes sense. I can uh, see yeah, that. I, can feel, like, I, I can't. I can't be mad at you for that. He's super awkward. He just kind of. Like every main he's, character. He's I, was, like, I was awkward in high school, and that still made me mad. Like that's how I imagine Jelly looking at the internet. It's like <laughs> the way he stalked around. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Ironically, though, Lagushi is probably not going to be the most autistic character from this month's anime pick. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, we I got know. a crayon eater coming up next. <laughs> Dude, oh, I wish you'd have watched the whole damn thing so I could. I, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, real quick, soundtrack. It's good. It's jazzy. I like oh, it. Dude, I love the soundtrack Intro. so much. Especially oh, the, imp- the opening movie. song. The opening. The opening right. itself and how it stop motion was really cool. Intro out. It kind of reminded me of. Uh, oh, it yeah, reminded me of Wes Anderson. It reminded me of like Wes Anderson's uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox and Isle of Dogs, the movies he directed. I yes. feel that. Oh yeah. yeah. Same vibe. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the intro is extremely interesting to me. Like, I, I really challenge myself on this one to like watch the intro and outro each time for every episode. Because nice. I. I really do like intros and outros to see how they do it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, this one definitely nails it. I am the center in the group. I usually skip those. Yeah, I mean, I I do occasionally. Like, I've been watching the whole damn thing. Yeah, I'm probably going to start skipping it. But mm-hmm. for, the, the, for the five episodes, <laughs> I'll let it ride. Fair enough. All right, so let's move on to either One Punch Man or Gungrave. Which one do you guys want to do? I want to get Gungrave out of the way. All right, we're going to do Gungrave then. I feel like Brennan has strong thoughts on Gungrave. He's very strong opinion. <laughs> You're not going to like my opinions on it. I, I, hey, this is a subjective you good ways in, me. right? Huh? You were a good ways in, too. Like you, you were... Yeah, dude, and I'm not. Like, it's okay. That's the best I can say for it. Like... The dude's super autistic, but I guess that's how he's written. He's supposed to be the silent dude. But I thought he was supposed I've never, to be. I thought, I've always thought that's dumb. The like silent. Halo. He, yeah. I'm the silent protagonist. I'm like, you're dumb. And enough, let's, let's let Jake go through his thing before we get too oh, far. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Gungrave, baby. Gungrave is the one that actually sent me on researching all these animes because I feel like this one has a very interesting story how it became because Gungrave is not an original anime at all. It is based on a 2002 third-person shooter video game. And the anime came out the following year in 2003. I didn't know that until Austin told me 20 minutes before the podcast. So. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Dude, I was like, this made a whole-ass anime for a video game? Like, goddamn. It, t- taking that into perspective and comparing it to what they sometimes do with, like, other adaptations is, like, the most impressive thing ever because they but you'd be given something like a book mm-hmm. and you can't make jack shit out of it. All right. Uh, get through the rest of your stuff because I'm pretty sure Brendan wants to go on a rant. Both oh, yeah, for sure. So um, character designs are actually done by the same guy who penned Trigun, Yashiro Naidao. Hey, yo. The outro uh, music was done by, I'm not making this name up, the artist Scooby-Doo. The song is called When the Sunset Turns Red. The opener is called Family by Suino Imahori, and the animation studio is Madhouse, which was founded in 1972. Madhouse might be familiar because they are incredibly prolific, and they have done a shit ton of quality shows. 
They've done Trigon. They did movies Perfect Blue and Wolf Children. They did Death Note, Black Lagoon, Devil May Cry, and One Punch Man, just to name a very, very small selection of the type of work they've done. All right, Brendan. Go go ahead. Fire away. Shots fired. I I, I feel bad because Devil loves it so much, but... Hey, I I, I, I understand... It is it is subjective, so yeah, let it. Rip. I'm I'm, I'm going to watch more because I'm going to give it the chance it it deserves. But like, oh, that first episode, dude, that was rough. That was really I, rough. I'm going to stop really right there. I'm going to interject. I'm going to interject. No, 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 no. Dude, the first episode. Dude, this, from what I've watched, this show is the bastard child of Helsing and Gangsta, and I emphasize oh, a bastard yes! child. Like this is the child that like was born. And they're like neither of us want to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like it doesn't know whether it wants to be a zombie vampire shit or if it wants to be gangster. Oh, and I should. This totally... episode was so slow, and the dude is so stupid. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming. Ugh, I'm gonna kill this dude now. And then she's like, I need your help. Oh, let me come first. In retrospect, I should have told you guys to skip the first episode entirely because. I totally forgot that it does pull that. It'd been a while since I watched the show, and I agree. The first episode being an episode that is about two thirds, two thirds of the way through the show, is an absolutely horrible but interesting choice. But I could see that it's not the best first episode at all. So yeah, that also adds to the buildup that they have to do like do a reintro on the second episode, which is awful because they take way too long in the intro. In addition like, to the what first is this episode, show? It's awful. I'm like, this is two different shows. <laughs> oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna see more. Austin, that's part of the problem. All right, that's fine. He did what was he did what was needed. I can ask. I him. mean, I got eleven episodes in. Austin's finished it. I did ten, and I loved. I loved like the whole mob aspect. I'm a little cautious I where it's gonna go with the zombies, but as long as they keep the mafia shit in, I'm there. After like the fourth episode, I was happy with it because I like the mob stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I that first couple episodes. Did you even watch it? Where they watched five at. episodes, but I was like half paying attention. Oh, thanks, Jelly. So, Means a lot. <laughs> always. So Just basically, what you're saying is, I tried. I didn't have flashing on my colors. Jelly didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get invested in the slightest. I I thought the the art style wasn't really for me. I didn't think the the, I don't know. The characters didn't seem like they were up my alley from what like what I was watching. I was not invested in their in their grind. I didn't really care about the writing. So some the acting was okay. Some of the yeah, action scenes were okay. You put pencils in front of a kindergartner who doesn't have his crayons anymore, and he just wants to fuck with crayons and eat them. Love it. Yeah, I probably missed some of the gold parts like that. I was just like, uh eh. The nothing, blank nothing drew me into the saying that's you as a person. And he. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I thought he was supposed to be a mute. I legitimately thought he was supposed to be a mute. He very well. And then, and then he actually talks, and I was like, everyone just kind of talks what? to him, tells the story to him. It's like he narrates. He, he narrates like more guy. one episode than he talks the entire, the entire show. He seems like a guy who just is like practices being a mute, but then only whispers softly into your ear from behind. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm an episode in and he still hasn't talked more than like a paragraph, I'm pretty sure. His way of talking is just blankly staring at you and then staring into some other direction. And then that's 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 how you communicate with people. Yeah. So it's my father. <laughs> <laughs> Your father was never there, Brennan. <laughs> is this how you communicate with people, Austin? Is this how you should attempt to pick up girls? Absolutely. You stare at them. Okay. No, that's how Link that's how Link just like You guys and I get it. That was a bad joke. <laughs> it was a very bad joke. God, you're real pretty. <laughs> All right. So, I, the, uh, this show's first five episodes, not that good. This is the, like, you need to get to about episode seven for anything of significance to really happen. But episode you need the context happens, from like. Yeah. Four other episodes. It's a very slow roll for the beginning. 
like this is very much a show that you could quit on episode three or four and not miss a damn thing. Like you really gained nothing. <laughs> <this point>. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that would be the case because some of the things, I mean, it just didn't seem like there's a, a whole lot at first, but then they throw a lot at you as time goes on. About episode seven, things start heating up a lot. Would you say they're Brandon heating up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. At least I can laugh at that one. Um, that pretty good. I'm going to go kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> can I join you? <laughs> but I, I don't know what else do you guys think about the show i really loved it. i love the writing i love the characters even brandon heats like persistence to not talk <laughs> brandon get the bathtub ready i'll bring the toaster <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I enjoy it watching him and his partner and the his girlfriend just try and exist and get through life in this world so if you only made it <clears throat> Jake, I don't know how far you made it. In I Jake. made the 10. I'm at 11. Well, first off, we already know it turns pretty undead. Yeah, like, pretty I'm at the point where they're just now having to deal with undead mob people. A lot of things happen. That's a very weird turn. It, it, it is. I'm not weird. sure how I feel about it. Um, very weird. But it's a very interesting show, in my opinion. But Can we go back to the mob drama? The mob drama is about three fifths of the show, almost. Good. Of the show. I was kind of hoping it'd be more zombie filled. So you're saying if it gets more you zombies just, as time goes on, then I'll just continue watching. I I might continue. Yeah, man, I will say I did love like the mob stuff, like before all the zombie stuff when it was just pure autism. I really did enjoy that, but I don't like Brandon, like the dude, his partner. I'm like that dude's the dude. <laughs> Because he, he talks and he doesn't just gets stare cool. with cross Brand, eyes. Yeah. Brandon, as the show goes on, you kind of understand him a little bit more. I can't even say that he still doesn't talk. <laughs> he talks more. He talks more in the first episode than yeah, dude, probably the first ten episodes. I'm just like, dude, give me a grunt or something. <laughs> <laughs> I need something. Just give me something. But I will, um, I will say I'm going to watch more. So next time, if Joel will allow me, I'll give you like a five second like, yeah, or nah. <laughs> Shit's still dumb. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So dialogue and dub. Oh, boy. Yo, I do not back. like this dub. This dub is like the old dub style. Oh, right? yeah. It's it rough. fucking rough. And it is the dialogue's rough. pretty fucking rough. Um. I think the word best friend is used like 20 times in one of the later episodes. <laughs> it's fucking bad. Like, it's it my, my best breath friend. Away. That is written in. He's like, he was my best friend. I'm like, bitch, you just said that fucking Dude, I, I just, earlier. You can't say They start again. calling each other partners, and I'm wondering if there's a gay marriage that happens at some point. <laughs> I, just, I loved that they did that because that's what me and my brother do except we call each other brother all the time. So we'll just walk into him and be like, hello, brother. Brother. <laughs> Uh, Brother. So I gave it a mediocre for the time. Going back now, it's pretty passable. 2003, right? Yep. Yeah. It, oh, damn it. I was there when you finished that. I was on Discord with you. You were just like, Ugh. Oh, I was mildly intoxicated, and it brought a tear to my eye. The ending brought a tear to my eye. You're like, dude, I'm going to watch this with you, Brendan. <laughs> I'm going to come I there and watch it all over again with you, babe. Um... Art style, it's mediocre for the time. Going back, it does not age well. I like the I like the art and animation. I thought it looked for, good. For me, I kind of like older style, so I enjoyed it. I got nothing against it. I wish but, Brandon wasn't so fucking skinny. They definitely go into that trope of all their characters when they put suits on. Oh, get fucking massive shoulders. Fucking huge. <laughs> Monstrous human Brandon, being. Brandon, Brandon wearing a fucking tank top looks anorexic. Brandon in a suit, fucking yeah. bodybuilder. I'm dead serious. Like that's. Ex- <laughs> hey, I'll take so, anorexic Brandon over like episode one, risen from the grave. Brandon, where he's like fucking <laughs> Captain America, Jack from the nineties. Grave. <laughs> Dude, he looks like Eric Foreman without a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> um, story wise, for me, great. Love it. Um, 
it the pacing can get a little bit fucking wild at times. We just it definitely seems like a slower burn, like you were saying. There's three different time jumps in the first 15 episodes. I believe it. So things get a little bit intense, but in the end, it all wraps up nicely, and I like it. Um, I don't know what you guys have to say besides what we already talked about. This uh, is very, I feel like I this, just, this is one I probably will go out of my way to finish and see it to the end. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm cautious of, of the zombies showing up. And it's like, I don't know if I want zombies in my mob show. Uh, so but. I will tell you, at first, it's a mob show with underlying undead things. And at the end, there is another kind of genre that kind of peeks its head in instead of mobs. Yeah. So. A little bit of a flip. Yeah. Um, character wise, oh boy, Brandon Heat's fucking mute. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. This man, you could just reveal like the most heartbreaking thing to him, and he just look at you. He's like, oh. <laughs> great listener. We oh oh yeah, right. He's a great secret keeper. I'm sure. If he ever got someone pregnant, he just like stare at him. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Um, <laughs> towards the end, like. Each kind of character, and you can see it from the beginning. Some are clear cut, and some are. Each has like an underlying kind of deal with them. Yeah, like I said, most of them are pretty clear cut. A couple others you don't see till later. But overall, I like the characters. They're what really takes me. Yeah, I like most of them as well. I will say the one character I did not like at all, and got the whole gang killed, is fucking Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, fucking toy gun, and then tell me it was a gun. toy gun. Dude, I mean, not to be hot out here. Really gun, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, I feel like any normal move. person, or even any anime person, should realize the way he was acting that it was a toy gun. Well, of course, he actually tried to say it, and instead, he gets the gun. But he didn't get the gun because Brandon's a badass. So, actually, Brandon inadvertently <laughs> got everyone killed. The game. <laughs> Brandon was too much of a badass and got the gang killed. They just couldn't keep up. They couldn't take his heat. <laughs> That's it. You're off. The I'm right, off well, the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, right. well, let's, Joel, uh, my bath is made if you would like to come and build a <laughs> um, yeah. Mars I, got, here. I, got the, I got the toaster. It's a nice, expensive four slot toaster. There should be plenty of juice to go. Um, you don't spend money on this? <laughs> um, yep. A I have a. Version. Just throw my nah. toaster oven in, and then have Mara dump me back out. You jump in, Mara will throw yours in. Oh, well, you guys can't just die in the tub together at the same time? Ooh, do you want to do that, Joel? You yeah, wanna... that sounds like a good time to me. Ooh, ooh daddy. <laughs> naked and afraid. Very. <laughs> right, well, well, you naked? Excited. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we have any, anything else to touch on getting great for? No? Okay, we get One Punch Man is our, was our last one. All right, let's finish this up. One Punch Man, created by the uh, mangaka, it goes by the name One, and it's not even a manga originally, just a webcomic he was just doing for funsies, and it ended up getting super popular. With the that, best art you've ever seen in anything. The webcomic is phenomenal. Press X for doubt. <laughs> uh, 2011, uh, artist Yusuke Maruda contacted him to redraw it, more professionally, and that started getting published in 2012. So now it's an official manga now, I guess. Uh, Madhouse picked it up to do the anime. This is who we uh, talked about with Gungrave. Uh, released initially in October of 2015. And that's all I got on it. Lovely. I love One Punch Man, and I hear some of you liked it. So I loved it. It was my favorite recommendation. I'm glad. I I'm had glad. so much fun with it. I think it's a really different and unique anime in terms of how they tell the story because Saitama is such this broken, overpowered, fucking Goku-esque character who makes heavily fun of Goku um, in this realistic, like, gritty society. So you can't tell the story through him, but he's still the main character. So you get the story told through Genos, like who is the sub antagonist. Yeah, and like it's just really unique and really interesting. And I think I've never had a show made me binge 
the web com a web comic or an anime or a manga more than this show. Nice. High praise. It uh-huh. kind of makes me curious how the world itself works because they have all these massive tragedies that happen left and right. And like a show like Evangelion, it makes sense because they have the, the 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 skyscrapers and cities are kind of retractable, and the people are prepared to evacuate shit when oh what's you know, when the, happens. Um, but, but now it just kind of like oh yeah, skyscrapers are getting torn down left and right. Whole cities. The, are the tech doctor down. can rebuild a city in like a day. Okay, that, that's, that's yeah, what I was like the nine five, seven hero or something. Yeah, they show that in one of the episodes. I'm not sure okay, how far. Good. Enough. I was very curious how how shit was being rebuilt when. When uh, what, the when the smallest of monsters can destroy an eighth of your town, shit was yeah, looking a, like, like fucking Akira after the first episode. The dude that fights with robots, I forget his name. It's like Metal something or something. Metal Knight, maybe. Yeah, Metal, yeah, Knight, Metal Knight. Knight. I believe it is. Uh, I can just rebuild cities with shit. See, with, uh, his I... robots in like a day, because that happens at one point. An entire city gets destroyed, and they rebuild it in a day. So I loved the humor in it. Um, I love how unaware he is at everything. <laughs> like the second episode when you first meet the cyber guy and they're fighting the uh, mosquito the mosquito chick. chick. And he's the cyber dude's like, I have to explode. I must kill myself to save her. When One Punch Man just slaps her away, like nonchalant. And then he's like, well, I'm hungry. You... You're down to do something, <laughs> and I'm just like this dude's so unaware. Like, I, and he's like that through the to, whole thing. Have you ever tried to smack a mosquito and it gets away from you? Yeah, dude, yes. my, that's my favorite part. Is that the mosquito that he starts slapping away is the toughest enemy he's had in that show. Yep, and he's just unaware. And to me, it was a great backhanded love letter to Superman. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> And I loved it. I was kind I... of meh on the show overall. Like, I love the humor, but I, to me, I don't feel like there was enough of it. Like, I feel like Mob Psycho, which I started watching, and he was done by the same guy, nails the humor a lot better. Well, how far did you get? Because, like, I finished this series. I don't know if... I watched the entire first season. Okay. So, yeah. I, th- I think there's enough beats in there, but apparently you wanted more. I, mean, I don't know. It's just like, there's a like, big chunk in the middle from, like, six or seven to like episode nine where it's like the meteor episodes and the sea king episodes and it's like there's just not a whole lot happening there and it kind of builds up to like oh none of the guys can do it and then Geno comes up and he's like oh he's gonna do something super powerful but then he jobs and then one punch man comes and done that, that's part of the I mean, I mean i get that's part of it but they, they don't really do anything with it in those episodes it's kind of like eh like the animation and the fights are good and they're fun to watch, but there just wasn't, I guess, much there for me. To you think that the hot, you don't you don't think I the think stakes season high two enough. would satisfy you more than the first one had, if that's what you were looking at. I don't know. Maybe maybe it just the uh, comedy just very subjective. So maybe the comedy just doesn't land with me as well as it does with you guys. I well, I think it's because it's like so dry humor. You know, it's extremely it's dry. very like. It was like our old high school teacher, Jake. Like very, I mean, maybe even drier than that. I don't know. But that's the thing, though. I, I like dry humor. So like I love like when the humor's See, there, I love and it. I, and I do find that weird because you find your show really funny, and but not this. And I found this actually had like more comedic moments in it than your show. Your show was just like here's big tits and we did something weird with, it. and you're like that's funny. I'm like, well, that's not that's like a fart joke to me. Mm-hmm. Where this show actually had like a punchline of of some sorts to it, like it had a punchline. A <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. It actually had a joke to it, and I'm and you're like, I don't find that funny. So I I find that weird. I don't but know. That's just, just like, me. Well, when they, like, when they had it, it was good, but I just don't feel like I had enough of it to really be super comedic for me. Like, there's nothing in the Sea King episodes I found outwardly funny. Like, oh, we have the blatantly gay hero trying to fight him. I, hey, man. I guess that's wacky and kind hey, of funny, but hey, like... I, I, hey, like, man. I love everyone, Jake. I don't know about you, but I thought it was hilarious. He eventually powers <laughs> up. He eventually earns power-ups where he just vibrates more to <laughs> okay. for his power. I mean, don't be wrong. There are beasts like when uh, Saitama goes for his training to... Uh, or uh, 
try out that for the Hero Associates. I love the bit where like, jump side to side for 30 seconds, and the St. Thomas is basically like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah. <laughs> just that hard cut to it was great. What, you don't like Speed of Sound Sonic? Not feeling Speed of Sound Sonic. Name's too wow. redundant. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, I'm this hurt. is... Um, I'm hurt. I'm going to hang myself. <laughs> so... I have also watched Mob Psycho the whole first whole first season, and I do understand Jake's kind of like the comedy is the same but slightly different between the shows. So for me, Mob Psycho did land a little bit better, but I still thought the comedy was good in One Punch Man. I enjoyed it. It's okay. it's. Overall, I like the show, and I need to finish it because I think it will get better for me as I go on. Uh, oh, oh, by... I will recommend if, if you finish the first one and you think it's a like a good to average show, I'd recommend watching the second season. Gotcha. Because the animation's a little bit less, just a touch less. It's not like that much worse. Um, but they do a lot more with like the fights and some of the comedic moments are really good. Some of the storylines they actually explain a little bit better and more. My favorite moment so far is when they went to take the hero test and he was a c-class hero yeah that yeah, fight. That was, I, that I, as awesome. soon as he pulled that sheet out i'm like this motherfucker's dumb <laughs> 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 and sure enough it's a c and uh it was perfect i love like, I, lo- I love the comedic moments where he's, he's like oh the c-class hero can't do anything to me and there's just genos like s-class hero being like master please no <laughs> master please teach me more <laughs> <laughs> what did you do i did this run i did like a hundred of these and of these and these and he's like this is no time for jokes <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah i do love it. That's his secret. He's like, I just ran a lot. And did some oh, dude, there's some phenomenal moments. So it's not a big moment in the show, so I'm going to uh, just say it now. When he meets Atomic Samurai, uh, Atomic Samurai is like, oh, I could, I could judge how strong a person is by shaking their hand. And he's like, this guy's a fucking weakling. <laughs> yes. And meanwhile, he thinks King, if because uh, you guys know who King is, yeah. is like a retardedly strong, like unbelievably can't be paralleled, like can't be measured. He's so strong. It's just ridiculous. All right. Well, does anyone know, have any other riveting statements? Are we ready to uh, roll well, into the... Did we go through your little... Eh, well, we list we did. We'll jump in real quick. Dialogue and dub. Good for me. Dub I thought was, it was pretty good. Dub was good. Dialogue was good. I enjoyed it. Art, good. Top notch. Top yeah. notch. Um, story. Once again, I didn't really go all the way in, so I can't hate a story. Mm-hmm. Um, I even like a note here. I think it will get better as time goes on, and nothing has screamed out at me yet on the actual like underlying story. But I do really enjoy the the One Punch Man. You know, if only someone could take more than one punch, <laughs> because I want to see more action. That does happen. <laughs> There, yeah, there's, uh, I won't say much, but there is a guy at the end he, that takes more than one punch. <sighs> Who is dun, this man? Dun, dun. Um, characters good. I like them. I like all the characters so far. Music, come on, music. Music, is great. music. Is good. I enjoyed. Music's gotta be good. I got some good rock in there. One the punch. One punch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The one punch. Um. Intro, outro, good, good shit. All right. Like overall, I think it's just a very well done anime. Like I mean, I'm just a weird one, maybe, but the comedy didn't land with me as much as I was hoping it would. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's uh, let's we'll get into rec- our recommendations for next time real quick. But let's vote on our favorite animes. So you cannot pick your own. Damn. You have to vote for someone else's. Yes. So I'm gonna vote for oh god, this is hard. I want B stars because it was something really different I'd usually hate. And I ended up watching like almost all of it. Or did watch all of it, but I mean and like wanted to watch all of it not sitting. Um yeah, I'm also gonna go B stars. Uh definitely I might have watched it in the future, but through the glory of this, you know, little anime book club dealio. 
we got going on here. I was kind of, I'm forced out of my comfort zone with a lot of shows. Yep. And this one definitely hit with me. So I think I have to go. It's tough. I, I want to go gun rave, but at the same time, I really did enjoy B stars. <laughs> well, B stars is going to win anyway. So you choose what you want. So, I mean, you know, I'll go gun grave just because that first episode was very standard. But, and then it just surprised me how much I ended up getting invested in the characters to the point where I'm very excited to see where it ended up going. If it makes you feel better. KJO is a close second for me. Thank you. I, I, well, on that note, though, I, it, 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 it makes me happy that you ended up enjoying it a bit more, it sounds like, than what you initially were. It. I have, I like I said, I have nothing against the actual show. I understand why, like a lot of people like it because mm-hmm. at the underlyings of it, it is just a sports anime. Mm-hmm. The characters mm-hmm. are good. It's cool. It's funny at times. Just the fan service Too much. rolls in hot and heavy. <laughs> I want to know what Jelly votes for. What does Jelly vote for? His favorite. Keijo is close second, but V Stars definitely takes it for how it's its style and all the characters. And actually, I'm really excited for the second season to come out. So, Brendan, One Punch Man. Thank you. I love you. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's do our the worst anime. Can we all say it on the count of three? One, two, three. Charge Man Ken. Charge Man Ken. Which was Everyone the intended hates. purpose of this show. No, we sure you're was. getting into no. I no, said it. Right, so you got to choose to redeem week. yourself next week or else you're losing your recommendation for the following week, all right? <laughs> yeah, I hate to say it. All right, so let's get into uh, what we're recommending, lads. Anyone, uh, anyone jump in first here? So difficult. I'll, I'll, I'll jump start. in first, so. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Okay. I hear you, Brad. Do you want to go ahead? Oh, Brad, get out of there. <laughs> 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 just like, no. <laughs> sorry, you go ahead. Um, Vinland Saga. Okay. Thank you. I don't have to, to rewatch that. Yeah, yeah you're I good. You. <laughs> I was not watching it for this exact reason because I knew you were going to recommend it. I was like, awesome. I'll get a, be an excuse to watch it now. All right. I'm surprised you didn't recommend it last week. So, And I'm glad you five. didn't. Actually. And we're doing five episodes, correct? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, uh, do, we're gonna, gonna do, do. Yeah, I feel like five. We're gonna do five. Yeah. We're gonna do back, down to five, and then if we want to keep watching it, you can keep watching it. And who 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 wants to go? I, I thought I thought Jake wanted Jake, to go. Yeah. I, I want to make sure we're all clear. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, my next one for I like for my recommendations, I'm going to try and make the boys got a little bit of your usual wheelhouse with stuff. So I'm gonna go with the anime Spice and Wolf. Basically follows Ooh, I actually the story really of to watch this a movie. kind of Renaissance era mer- traveling merchant, and his companion is a wolf deity. So you are gonna hate this one too, Austin. Uh, I actually, funny enough, Jake has shown me a couple episodes way back, so I kind of have an idea how this is gonna go. Brennan, you want to give us a quick? Like you want to give us a quick rundown of Vinland Saga? Like, I two oh, what it's about? Ago. Yeah, just for answer in one word. <laughs> oh, answer in one word. Viking. I can answer in no. two words. <laughs> Viking anime. Uh, <laughs> Viking power. <laughs> uh, uh, also, you re- actually no. What is Connor recommending? What what is what is the dumpster fire recommending? I don't know what Connor wants to recommend. I don't know, know what Jelly wants to recommend. Uh, I'll need some. I'll need some more time for you to. All right, well, I'll do Give mine. Give me a few then. minutes, yeah. Food Wars. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh, everyone is going to watch Food Wars. Finally happened. Easy. Oh, we've watched some of it. <laughs> Fantastic. You better watch some of it and not read some of it, Jake. I did want, end up watching it, remember? <laughs> Good. I, I love you, Jake. I know. Oh, I love you, you guys too. are. You guys are making me fucking choose here. Oh, real quick before uh, we go on. My my recommendation is Spice and Wolf for everyone else, but for Jelly, you have to watch Cory in the House. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I expect a play-by-fucking-play play when you come I'm back. Gonna, five episodes? I'm going to know. 
if you watch it or not. <laughs> I'm going to quiz you. There's going to be a quiz on each episode. I want five episodes of Cory in the house from you. <laughs> well, the, the, ne- the, uh, the next second weekly book club, uh, it's going to start off with a Cory in the house. <laughs> So <laughs> okay, I bet. Well, since Jelly good. probably needs more time because he's a little sensitive, bitch. Austin, what's yours? Oh my god, I've got a fucking list going on here. So do um, I. Buddy. You know what? I'm just. We're gonna keep into the kind of same little, you know, corner nook we got going on here. We're gonna go with gangsta. Yes. You got five episodes of gangsta. We got right. drugs. We got prostitutes. Well, Austin got everything an anime made within the last ten years. Um, it's uh, twenty eleven, nine years. Nice. Well, fuck me. <laughs> so yeah, um, it, as the name kind of implies, it's it's kind of a gangster. Shocking genre. Never Sounds like it was filled with victimless crimes. Absolutely victimless crimes. There's a little bit of mob victimless action. Crimes, in there. Cyril. <laughs> I think Shelly's a walking, talking victimless crime. Speaking of which, what's the, your recommendation, bud? I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Durara, Durara on this one, because I remember enjoying the show. I think if you guys wa- watch it, maybe you'll get into it. Is that the I one with watched... the commercials where the chick has like the cat ears on her hel- uh, motorcycle helmet? Yeah, and she has no head. It's she's like the headless horseman. Huh. Of uh, that world. Wait, is this a different? Uh, I think this is a different show than I was thinking of. Okay. There's a it, there's a lot to it. There's a decent bit to it. The Durara I was thinking is a very fucked up show about demons and shit, which I think has a different name. Beautiful. Oh, right. well, Jelly. Um, so we got your fate Vinland is Saga. in our hands. <laughs> so we got Vinland Saga, Spice and Wolf, Food Wars, Gangster, and Durara. And Cory in, in the house. For house. Jelly. And, and, and <laughs> so, so special side That's note. That's an add on, yeah. A, special side note for artistic furry jelly, Cory in the house. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who's seen Beastars through, all the way through twice. Rule 34 Haven. I don't, I, don't think that was the, I don't think since that was the t- top recommended, that's an insult. So fuck <laughs> yourself. <laughs> say, like, we also all enjoyed Good it. Luck, dude. So, you know. <laughs> It wasn't bottom tier garbage like yours was. Um, at least everyone didn't look twelve. Hey, if you start if you start the lowest bar, it only gets better from there. Thank you, Jelly, for you know. Maybe sure I'll find no an even worse lose. anime for you guys to be exposed to. You Go know, that's my goal. Them. I'm oh, taking after already. after this podcast. I'm definitely uh, assured of my role on here. You have no <laughs> right. I'm, I'm the antihero. No retard in the group. We have one. Yep. Why right, are you yeah. the way you are? Well, thank you for listening to the third episode of the Handsome Jacks podcast, and uh, until next time, we'll see you. Adios.